Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a La Palma Volcano Update, Cumbre Vieja, Friday, November 5th, around 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The volcano continues to spew ash and steam the way it has been for the last 72 hours. Seismicity is reduced. The vents are now small and crusting over, including the lava tubes. We'll get to that, but a full update is coming. The last 24 hours, earthquakes near La Palma consist of much reduced earthquake activity. Just around 55 quakes in the last 24 hours, the largest of which was a 4.5, and we'll get into that in more detail as we move on the video here. You can see that for the last 72 or more hours of extremely reduced seismicity, and the last 38 hours, well, it seems to be ever reducing even more. Stepping down another level, that uh sunset through 2 a.m pattern that we were picking up here almost ending so seismicity is greatly reduced and seismic tremor is reduced as well for the entire period here so this is over 50 hours with a reduction in seismic tremor this is related to the the lava output at the vents which is based on this data extremely reduced and there's a flyby from 48 hours ago when the when this Volcano changed to its more sooty, ashy version. They had a chance to do some flybys, and we're going to watch the flyby from 48 hours ago, and I think we could point out some interesting things here. So take a look. Now, what we're seeing here is a, a lava tube underneath of this flow, and you can see here these are some of the vents from that lava tube letting out some of the gas and steam. Again, a view into a lava tube there. And again. So it's pretty easy to see that there, even though it's just ash coming from the main cinder cone and a little bit of steam here, the amount of lava is extremely reduced that's flowing down the mountain. The reduction is significant, and we can see it right here. So if I just pause this as it's moving into this lava river, a couple things you're going to want to see is these rims here. These are older levels of the lava flow. So this lava tube is dropping down in volume. And that would be... Well, that's what you would expect from reduced seismicity, reduced lava output. And again, here's a very clear picture of that different layerings from the levels that this once was at. And it's now dropping down or draining out. And then you can see some evidence of that happening right there, this wall falling down, this instability. This was not unstable before when the lava was up at this height. But now that the lava's dropped down, some of the sides are now falling into the flow. So this is good news for the island of La Palma. There's been very little advance of lava at all as compared to earlier in the eruption. And that's because the amount of output has been significantly reduced. And that is good news. So come check them out over here at the Instituto Geologico Mineral de España. Subscribe and give them a thumbs up. Awesome work they're doing over there. Now, quickly, I wanted to go over some of the historic eruptions just to bring into context this eruption. It's not uh, much different than any of the other eruptions over the last thousand years. It happens to be one of the largest lava flows, but not by that significant of an amount. The 1712 eruption is about the same size. Also, the tip of the island, this eruption, about the same size. The 1646 eruption here on the eastern side of the island, about the same size as the current eruption, which is now in this yellow area, right next to the 1949 flow. About three times as big as the 49 flow, or maybe definitely twice as big. And here's a really interesting graphic I got 
showing you the evolution of volcanic activity on the island. These brown cinder cones on the ridge here that you can clearly see here on the southern half of Cumbre Vieja, these are the older pre-Holocene eruptions. So those were much larger, the pre-Holocene eruptions. The Holocene eruptions here in yellow and the more recent historical in red are different types of eruptions. These are lava flows that are happening on the surface. And you can see up here, these red lava flows up here, the 1712 El Charco, the Jetty, and the San Juan. Well, the newest eruption is to the north of the San Juan. And IGME has an amazing map. So this time-lapse map was made in conjunction with Copernicus data. And this is all coming out from the seismological institutes in Spain and on the Canary Islands. And it shows a time-lapse of the newest lava flow. And if you can remember from the last map we were looking on, there was the horseshoe here and then that 1949 eruption here. This is the 2021 eruption and the evolution of that through time. So in the beginning, there the lava output was much higher than it currently is, but it peaked in the middle sometime around the 10th. It really started to pick up, and that's when a lot of the destruction happened. Massive destructions of roads and entire towns getting buried. And if we just run it through here to the end of the simulation, bring it up to through like Halloween. I can't speed it up. I'm trying to. There it is. And we'll just pause it. You can see that this eruption currently has about the same surface area as this eruption back in the 1600s. So pretty typical eruption as related to all historical eruptions, but one of the larger eruptions in the last thousand years. That's all that's happening at La Palma, and it's soon to be coming to an end, especially based on the data that just popped in right now moments ago. And we're going to get to this data. This is just coming in seconds ago. And you can see here that the se seismic tremor has now reduced 80% since four days ago, a massive drop down. And you're also going to be seeing these green dots at the bottom here. These are uh, more of the major events, and there's starting to be a lag in events where there's gaps here. The last time this happened was at the beginning of the eruption. And so now here it's happening again towards the, well, I hate, dare I say it, the end of the eruption. All signs are that in the last 72 hours or more that the, this system, this volcanic system on Cumbre Vieja is shutting down which is very good news. The 9 a.m. report, and this is coming from IGN itself, has also seen a reduction here in deformation at the LP3 site. And this could be related, uh, possibly be related to the deep seismicity. So what they're saying is what we just said the other day, that the, the lower magma chamber, the deep seismic chamber is collapsed, it's empty. That's what the large seismic activity is happening, and then that's causing deformation up at the top of the island. Good news. This baby may be coming to an end soon. This is our greatest data point here, uh, the seismicity reducing so much and maintaining a reduction for days, as well as this massive drop down to extremely low levels here and also the lack of events. And on top of that, the lack of earthquakes. Only 50 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, some of the lowest numbers since the beginning of the eruption. All the data, well, is pointing in one direction, and which is good news. The last four magnitude was over 15 hours ago at 4.5, and obviously not a grid pattern of earthquakes there. So our prayers go out to the people on La Palma, as Bushcraft Bear reported yesterday, there is going to be a mental health crisis on this island because of what has occurred over the last 48 days. A catastrophe, calamity, but no loss of life. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Bringing you up to speed on what's happening at La Palma. One data point at a time. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.